is everybody doing? Um, today we're going to tell a little story about just a box. Just a box and how good deeds can kind of work out for a person. Um, I did a short on these 2006 Series 16 knives. This is the Rail Splitter, the Series 16 2006 Shat and Morgan Rail Splitter. Of course, it's got wax all over it, but... Uh, you know, I got the, the rail splitter moose here. I got the matching Congress um, with a nice mint box. Um, so I got two of these Series 16 knives. And these things aren't cheap. Um, so you kind of got to look for them and, and kind of bid and make offers and whatnot. But this one right here, I've seen it on eBay. And I had a, uh, it, there was no movement, no traction on the knife, hardly at all. And it didn't have the original box. You know, it said, mint comes in uh, this box. You know, it's kind of misleading. I knew it wasn't the matching box, but the price on the knife was only at like $75. So I thought, hey, you know, if I can get this for $80, $85, and not a bad deal without a matching box. And I'll just try to find me a box. And uh, that's what I did. So I, I think I paid... $85 for this, and I think the shipping was five, so I think I got $90 wrapped up in this knife. Um, and then I went on the search for the box. You know, I'm on the, the Queen Chat and Morgan Facebook pages. Uh, you know, I'm on all kinds of Facebook pages, and uh, I just threw, threw it out there. And then I did a short about this Congress, and then this one right here, I said, you know, if anyone has a box, I'll pay you good money for it. Well, there was a guy who I had been talking to on uh, YouTube and uh, on uh, on uh, on email. Um, I'm going to throw his name out there because his name is on the YouTube comments. Tyler Gibson. Now, I'd, I'd said, you know, anyone who wants some, he was subscribed to my channel and I threw out, hey, if you want some stickers, let me know. I'll send you some stickers. He was one who said, hey, send me some stickers. And I did. Um, he was very appreciative of the stickers. He, uh, you know, he's just all around good guy. And I said, you know, shoot me your address and I will uh, get these stickers right out to you. When he shot me his address, I realized that this guy was from West Virginia. Well, you know, I say on here all the time I was born and raised in West Virginia. I didn't move away until I was like 27 years old. Now, he's from the southeastern part of West Virginia. Now, when I moved away from West Virginia at 27, I moved to Paintsville, Kentucky which is probably 40, 45 minutes away from where this person lives. So that goes to show just how small of a world this is. And I was like, dude, I, you know, this is awesome. You know, you're, you're in West Virginia. I was born and raised in West Virginia. You know, it's just awesome. Um, then I always uh, did uh, videos on those. Well, I don't even have one out here right now, but those uh, Walmart access lock knives. And, you know, him and another person... Um, we're having trouble finding them. So I think it was a day or two after Christmas. I was at Walmart and I just grabbed a couple more of them. And, you know, I just threw two of them in the mail. One for Tyler and one for another. I didn't tell them because I already had their addresses on Gmail. Both the people who, who uh, said they couldn't find them. So I just uh, wrapped them up and, and shipped them out, you know, to, to Tyler and another person. Didn't say a word about it. I put the short up about needing a box for this, this knife the same day I shipped those out. Tyler sends me an email out of the blue. Hey man, you didn't say it was a moose, but I, it looks like a rail splitter. No, you did say it was a moose, but it looks like a rail splitter. He says, I got the box for that knife. I'll just send it to you. And I was like, dude, you aren't going to believe this, but I just uh, sent you out something in the mail without even telling you. I had sent him earlier in the day one of those damn Walmart knives. So, you know, without me even really asking him if he had one, me just picking up some knives, sending them out to a couple of people who, who were having trouble getting them. Just karma, bro. Just straight karma. This box alone turns this $80 knife probably into a $150 knife. Just by having the box, I would assume. Um... And he, he was straight up. He's like, he sent me a picture of the box. I'm like, dude, you've got to be kidding me. When he did that, I was in bed with my wife. I jumped up out of bed like something was wrong. And my wife's like, what are you doing? What's wrong? I was like, 
Nothing. It's just this guy I sent that knife to earlier has the box that I need for my wrist. But, you know, she has no idea what the hell I'm talking about. She's like, ah, oh, it's fucking knife talk. Who, <laughs> you know, <laughs> she just starts watching her shows again, you know, on her iPad or whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I, and I sent him the email back saying, dude, you're not going to believe it. I sent you a, <laughs> out the Walmart knife earlier. I know you've been having trouble getting one. So I just thought I'd uh, pick up a couple and send you one. Um, so he said, you know, he's going through a lot, um, stuff there, family wise, uh, medical issues, stuff like that. And he, you know, he didn't need to, but he got this in the mail like right away. And I couldn't appreciate it anymore, man. If he, it just Tyler, just awesome. So my, mine are his address. I can't thank you enough. I put in, uh, I put the Shat and Morgan box inside a Ziploc bag just in case the outer box leaked or gets wet. Thanks again. Best wishes, Ty. Just awesome, bro. Just, just straight, straight awesome. Um, you know, I don't want to go over the knife because I want to make that a separate video. I just want this video to be about good deeds, man. Good deeds don't go unpunished. Um, there's a couple of guys who I communicate with on on YouTube, and I'm gonna uh, shout there, shout them out again. One, you guys all know, Jersey Knife Guy. I want a drawing of his, and he wanted a couple of stickers. So with the stickers, I just sent him a knife. He was very appreciative and has did like two videos just on that knife alone, I believe. Um, Jersey Knife Guy, Ty, Ty Gibson. You know, I don't think he puts up videos, but he always communicates with the knife community on the videos. Um, you're going to see Boston Blade Works. Just awesome. Man, if you want to see a buck knife, good lord. I don't think there's a buck knife he doesn't have. Um, ASR Knife Works, that guy has a lot of vastly different stuff and is all the time. Put him and Boston Blade Works do a lot of shorts, which are nice because they're quick, they're, they're to the point, they get you a good look at the knife um, just right off the bat, just boom, 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 just very quick. And Because they got so much, it seems like both of them have so much inventory. I mean, it, when Boston Blade Works does his uh, videos... His displays that he has of those bucks, I've not quite seen displays like that. How how many buck knives he has in those displays? Um, it's unbelievable. And I, you know, we got this new puppy too. I got I got my wife a puppy for her birthday, so I'm trying to keep it at bay. A Bernadoodle, a Bermadoodle, whatever the hell that is. Burmese Mountain Dog mixed with a poodle. So, but we've lost two senior dogs here just in the last couple of months that we'd had for a really long time and. So, yeah, it's a whole different story. But, but yeah, this is just about good. Look what the knife community, I, I put this, I do comment this a lot on my videos. Uh, the knife community is the best community. It is absolutely the best. Um, everyone looks out for each other. I really don't even see hate comments. You know, all you see is uplifting comments on these videos. And I even ask for hate comments, but people are just so polite and so nice and and they're so supportive. You know, it doesn't matter if you only got $20 knives, $200 knives, $2,000 knives. Everyone seems to uplift each other. Um, Patty Potato Work, Patty Potato Pillar, that's another one on there. That guy is, this dog is killing me. <laughs> the Patty's Potato Pillars, he's another one on there. Uh, T Tobias, I think it's Tobias Gibson, um, you know, the cat, the cat man. Another great, just puts out great content. But now, I've got two of these Series 16 knives. I think this is the green amber, but I'm not really sure. I, I, I got a whole sheet on it. I actually have the advertisement for the whole set printed out. And I'll probably go over that when I go over these knives. You know, I'll probably pull out that right up that has all six blades on it. And then I put down, you know, what I have, how much I paid for it. Um, because I keep good inventory of what I have. That way, if I do pass away, my kids and my wife know exactly who gets what. Uh, what each thing is worth in case they need to to sell. But I, they shouldn't have to. You know, life insurance should <laughs> take care of them for a good long time. 
Um, but yeah, this is it. And now I've got this extra Shatton Morgan box. You know, if I pick up a Shatton Morgan that doesn't have a box, I now have one. Or if uh, someone is looking for one, you know, hit me up. And I do know Mr. Knife Guy, Jersey Knife Guy, you put out a video of a uh, cattle knife, and I believe you have the matching cattle knife to this set. The one that has the, uh, the punch. I think you're, in your video you labeled a 2005 Stockman. I, I'm not sure, but I think, I believe what you really have is a 2006 um, cattle knife. So, just throwing that out there. <laughs> you ever want to get rid of it? You know who to call or email. But yeah, guys, it's just, you can't believe how excited I was that someone was going to send this to me. I would have paid, you know, I don't know how much I would have paid, but I, I offered to pay for it. Um, he's like, no, man, I'm just going to send it to you, you know, <laughs> just can't believe it. But uh, Tyler, again, Ty, I can't thank you enough. If you ever need anything, do not hesitate to reach out. You know, if you see something I pull out and you need something for a collection, shoot me an email and... We might be able to work something out. I, I don't know. Um, you know, it just, it's just one of those things. You know, I almost thought I was going to have to sit down to make this video because I really want to go in depth on it. And I hope I do it justice. I hope you guys can, can feel the appreciativeness I felt when I received this. Um, because I tell you, I am. I mean, this right here. Um, to come at Christmas time was the best Christmas gift I could have received this year. Uh, you know, I've got I got everything I, I ever want. And I tell my wife and kids, don't buy me anything because I'll buy myself enough bullshit through the year. I don't need them just exchanging money gifts with me. But uh, this right here means a lot. And uh, I hope you, you feel that coming through on this video. I, I'm kind of a burly guy, but, but man, I tell you, this right here couldn't have asked for anything more you know it, it this this is awesome um but yeah that's it i'll do a video on the the series 16 knives and i'll pull out my sheet i'll go through the sheet with you the, the actual sales sheet um so yeah and then i also got don't forget i got this muskrat shad morgan muskrat it's a newer model though but yeah hey like subscribe leave a comment if you guys see tyler commenting on there man throw him a shout out seriously man uh, throw him a shout out show him the love because for someone to do this is just un freaking believable yeah like subscribe leave a comment thanks again Tyler.